everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me. Today, I want to try something different of telling the story with you guys. I want to make it like I'm just talking with you guys, that's why I have my tea over here. So if you want as well, grab yours, maybe coffee, tea, juice, whatever you like. And let me share my recent adventure in Orava Castle with you. I mentioned this in my previous video already, so you guys know that this one is coming. But if you haven't seen that video, make sure to watch it after this video <laughs> because you will see my reaction when I try Zinchitsa. Wow, I just pronounced that correctly. Zinchitsa for the first time. Is it not good? Zinchitsa. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Zinchitsa. 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 Dobre? Jean Chitsa and my adventure in this beautiful village here in Slovakia called Velkolinets. So we are finally here in Oravsky Rad. The weather has been so weird. We started uh, with a beautiful sunny morning and now it's cloudy and raining. Wow, we're gonna, gonna go inside. It looks really, really beautiful from outside. And also, hi. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna be inside, but let's have a look. So Orava Castle or Oravsky Rad as they call it in Slovakia. If you have been watching my video, you know that I've been in Bojnice and if I compare Orava's castle to Bojnice, it's totally, totally different. Bojnice castle, if you visit it, it gives you a romantic, um, happy vibes. But with Orava castle, it gives you a different feeling. It gives you the chills. To enter the castle, you need to pass a tunnel and it's a very nice introduction to your adventure in Orava Castle because it will immediately gives you goosebumps. But the tunnel served as a very good defense system because during old times, the soldiers would pour a boiling oil from the holes on the ceilings and the enemy couldn't figure out where it's coming from. And what is uh, very interesting is that the enemy cannot see the end of the tunnel because it's crooked like this. So it's a very strategic way how they built the tunnel. After the tunnel, you will be amazed of how beautiful the Orava castle is standing on a huge stone. We were actually very, uh, say, lucky <laughs> because when we were there, there's not a lot of people. So we're really able to enjoy our time. Inside the castles, there's a lot of museums of artifacts that are related to the history of Orava and also life in Slovakia. You can even see the original utensils, stuff that they use in the kitchen in the castle before. And I always thought <laughs> that the kitchen in the castle will be big, but this one is really not. I even saw an old style toilet. It's amazing. It reminds me of this compostable toilet where, <laughs> but in this castle, when we went out, I realized where all the poop goes. There's nothing that's catching it. So when somebody poop from there, it just goes down to the trees at the back of the castle.
They also displayed the original clothings of the royals who used to live in Orava Castle. The guide said that they took these clothes from the grave of those people. That's so unrespectful. <laughs> you are disturbing the grave, but it's really nice to see that these clothes are made of, I don't know, thick material, some kind of leather. And I could not imagine myself wearing it because I thought that it might be so heavy. <laughs> but it's really cool to see them. Just next to the room where the original clothes of these royals are displayed, there's another room, I think it's a chapel, which is called St. Michael, St. Michael's, not sure. <laughs> and there you can see a very nice original Renaissance painting. It's not clearly seen in my video, but it's really, really beautiful. It reminds me so much of Rome. But what struck me the most and impressed me the most is the altar. It may be small compared to others, but it's really, really beautiful. And it's one of the most important work of art in Slovak Renaissance period. The guide said that the remains of Juraj Turzo, a powerful Hungarian magnate <laughs> who used to live in Orava Castle, can be found in the chapel as well as with other of his relatives. up to the castle you will see how majestic it is what i really like about urava castle is how much they preserve this castle in a way that it really looks like it's the original and it gives you a little bit of glimpse of what it feels like living in this castle during the old times You can even see the cannons, the artilleries, some other original weapons that they used before whenever they have a war. It's funny how things evolve now. On the balcony oh my goodness you will love the view I love the view so much it's overlooking the surrounding village of Arava and as well as the beautiful 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 um, mountains of Slovakia Going back inside, one of the rooms that strike me is the prisoner's room. There you can see a lot of maybe original tools that they used to torture people back then. I couldn't imagine what are the things that actually happen inside that room. It's kind of creepy actually.
And then moving to the other rooms, I admire so much the woodwork inside the rooms because they're very intricate, they are very detailed, and I wonder so much how many, how long, <laughs> how long, how many years that is, does it take for the people to build this castle and make it how beautiful it is now knowing that they don't have this, you know, tools, the luxury of the modern tools that we used to have now. But knowing that they build something really amazing with the, just their hands and their minds, it is really something incredible. And one thing I want to say is that the bed of the royals, it's really weird. I thought that it would be fancy, but maybe this is the fanciest that it can get during the old times. What's funny about it is that it is very high. And they even provided a stool so that the royals can climb up and down from the bed. But there was a strategic reason why they made it so high because of the rats. <laughs> Imagine you're sleeping with the rats. Going up further, you will be rewarded with a beautiful view. It was a bit of a climb, I might say, <laughs> but I think it's really, really worth it. So you have to go up, especially now in this season that the summer is starting. Everything is so colorful. Everything is so green and it feels so alive. And then going back inside the castle, I just enjoyed my time looking around different museums, showing different artifacts of Slovak folk culture, and as well as um, going back to the history how Slovaks used to um, live during old times, even in Iron Age and Stone Age. Is it even correct? <laughs> You can see that as well in Arava Castle, they have these museums dedicated for that. And also, I saw a lot of croix, which I really, really like so much.
Orava Castle is really one of a kind and I the experience that I had visiting this castle is something that I would really not forget for the rest of my life and one thing that I would mention is that this Orava Castle is a settings or a place of many movies already one thing that was a shoot in Orava Castle is the original Dracula movie that was filmed in 1922 maybe you guys didn't know that but yes Dracula was filmed in Orava Castle that's why sometimes I feel like it has this you know creepy horror filmy vibes in there but it really has a standout character on it and also this uh, movie I think Dragonheart was filmed in 1996 was also in Orava Castle there were many many more movies that was shoot in Orava Castle I actually don't remember all of them but there was a room that was dedicated to showcase what are these movies unfortunately <laughs> I don't have any video of it because my cameraman my husband was so fascinated to look at this room that he forgot to make a video because well he likes movies so much anyway that's it for today guys i hope that you like this storytelling of my adventure in orava castle and that you enjoyed this tea time coffee time beer time <laughs> or whatever drinks that you are having with me while watching this video and i hope that i will see you again in my next adventure here in slovakia Please, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I appreciate so much knowing people is giving reactions to my video because then I know that you guys are liking it. And a special thanks to my members who are undoubtedly supporting my videos every time. And that's it for today. So I will see you again next time. Ciao, ciao. That's it for today guys. I really enjoyed the Oravsky castle, Orava's castle. And I hope that you like this video. Inside was really really beautiful although there's not a lot of people. I like the way how they um, control the crowd inside. That's why we are able to really explore the places and check and spend time as much as we want. And under the castle, there's a beautiful um, place that you can walk and explore more. There's a lot of restaurants. They are open, but not a lot of people. I assume that the normal days without the pandemic, these restaurants would be uh, full of tourists and other locals here eating and drinking. But now there's not a lot of them. But if you guys want to explore it, I highly recommend it. It's really, really beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy it. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you and see you next time. Bye!